As promised, it's time to show you the inside of our trailer. Let's check it out. We've been living in the trailer now for about two months, but like all things, it's still a work in progress. When you first enter the trailer and look right, there's an entrance shelf where we have our Kleenexes, speakers and such. Then there's a cupboard above that, and we installed an umbered shelf which uh, houses our uh, cell phones and keys. Uh, directly across the front entrance door is umber hooks for coats, and of course my Toronto Raptors hat. Uh, and then just to the right of that is a closed cupboard. Uh, we actually had second thoughts about having a closed cupboard there. We were thinking of shelves instead, but it's been well used and uh, much appreciated. Again, when we enter the front, there's our entry cupboard. Uh, we have some shelves there we've made temporarily. Uh, we're probably going to improve upon that. And then under the uh, stairs, we have lots of storage. It's still a work in progress. And under the first step, uh, you see some storage there as well, which we use mostly for our toiletries. As we go up the stairs, we have a queen-size bed, um, and uh, there's lots of storage space on the side for our personal stuff. There's an escape hatch on the top, which is good for ventilation and uh, sun. And then we have uh, storage cupboards on either side of the bed, one for me and one for Tracy. We have two TV hookup locations, one in the bedroom area and the other in the dinette. As we look down into the rest of the trailer from the uh, bedroom, we see our uh, kitchen area. Uh, which has a range hood, uh, which has been well used. Our gas stove, a two burner gas stove we chose to have. Uh, of course our kitchen sink. Uh, also another accessory we added was this counter extension. Um, I question that, but Tracy is using it a great deal. Uh, all the cupboards are oak, uh, which is quite nice. They seem to be uh, quite solid. We added the option of a Springfield pedestal um, for the dinette table. Uh, it's been well used. We put the table up and down pretty much every night. Uh, our dinette is a U-shaped dinette and we use Sumbral fabric uh, which is rock solid. Uh, another good choice that we aren't second guessing. We have a 22 inch TV with a Bose center speaker, some a Blu-ray player and an Apple TV. Plenty of overhead storage which is well used. Also we have a little extra in there. With the 5.0 TA is a large fridge and a freezer. Uh, the pantry is huge. It goes back a great deal. In fact, we have a lot of other storage back there as well. Uh, a microwave, we chose that as an option. The freezer is a, a, a super bonus. Uh, we never had that in any of, any of our other RVs. We haven't added much bling to the trailer, but we found this little piece of art at um, a store in Ottawa. We rather liked it. Threw it in there. Here's our bathroom. It's a wet bath. There's an integrated shower and a toilet. Uh, it's working very well for us. It has a sink, which is quite a nice thing. Our medicine cabinet is a bonus and well used. We have a smoke detector and a CO2 detector, a fan, and of course our thermostat. And above we've got a digital TV antenna, remote, and uh, the fan, uh, LED lights, lots of LED lights, uh, and an AC unit. And then more LED lights and more LED lights. Uh, they're much appreciated. We have a surge protector, that's an option. And there's our control panel. And then the uh, solar unit, which is also um, a control panel. Let's move to the outside. There's our electrical in, our, our water, our hot water tank, and our refrigerator. On the other side, we have the awning, our front door, and of course our truck. On the front, we have the LP and the storage, and there's Tracy. At the top there's our hatch, our digital TV, our um, max fan, and our air conditioning, and our solar panel. The trailer includes a full-size spare and a 2-inch hitch receiver. That's our Escape 5.0 TA, made in British Columbia, Canada.